What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. This one in particular, we're going to be going uh, over to Freeside and doing, uh, I guess, some of the little side quests that we got going on over there. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be doing. Specifically, uh, we're going to be going to Bill Fontaine and doing the whole Followers of the Apocalypse uh, part of this. So... We'll see how that turns out. Uh, if we get sidetracked and do something else, that's a whole different story. But it is what it is. If you're excited for this video, though, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Alright, first things first. Let's come over here. Take a nap. So that we can be in full health. Do we have Boone with us? Okay, yeah, we do. So come on, Boone. We gotta get on out of here. Um, is it casino? Is that, is that how you get out of here? I can't remember. Casino yep, there it is. Floor. All right, come on, Boone. We got business to take care of, all right? Well, more specifically, we got some side quests to go, to do. Oh. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Um, why do you want to know? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there, the Lucky 38, I mean, and we were wondering if you could help us, if it's not too much trouble, of course. Oh, it's extreme trouble. I'm just kidding. Uh, how did you get, uh, how did you get enough money to enter the strip? This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Uh, what does it involve? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And, of course, this is exactly where I come in, right? Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Um, all right, sure, why not? Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Oh, uh, well... Okay, well, let's do that really quick. I already know exactly where I'm supposed to go anyways. Um, moon over... Alright, let's... It's literally a computer inside of the first floor right here in the casino floor. I want to say it's over here. Upstairs, maybe? Yep, right over here. This thing. Bug the Lucky 38 network. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> this mission is ridiculously easy. Alright. I wonder what she gives us. I don't remember. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Damn. Speaking of bugging, you bug. But yes, to answer your question, I finished bugging the tower for you. It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it. I swear to God, that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Anytime. Yay, and I got accepted with the followers of the apocalypse. Alright, so what do we need here? This is level 13. Um, What do I need? I could go with speech. But honestly, I think I'd rather go with repair. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of repair, let's go ahead and repair this one. Oh, I can't? Nope, I guess I can't. I guess I need higher repair. Enjoy your time on the Vegas Strip. If you say so. You know what I kind of want to do, too? I kind of want to go over to the gun runners 
and see if we could buy like a laser rifle or even a plasma rifle the gun runners arsenal type though so that we can actually modify them you know what i mean all right well really quick uh before i forget let's go ahead and come over here and put this quest on so we got to go help bill fontaine and jacob hoff um uh, i wish it would tell us which side of the strip it's on bill fontaine i'm pretty sure he's over there by uh by Mick and Ralph's which while we're there we might as well go into Mick and Ralph's and see if there's any Can't run from me. good job Boone Die. yeah uh, check Mick and Ralph's and you know make sure that uh there's no unique weapons that we can get there but I want to say there's somebody over here oh wait this is him Oh no, this is Bill Ronte. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Uh, Julie Farkas sent me, as a matter of fact. Uh, basically just to help you get sober, man. Julie? Uh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Compliments are so rare these days. So why don't you stop drinking then? Drop drinking? I've been drinking for a straight month. Listen, I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm going to die. I can't stop now. Uh, how can you afford so much alcohol, dude? Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm going to die if I stop drinking for a day. I swear that guy's trying to kill me, but what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like he is. Um, take care of the drug dealer. Uh, drug dealer, where's the drug? Wait, the drug dealer? That's the guy that's over there by uh, Milk and Milk and Ralph's. Why do I keep saying Milk? Mick and Ralph's, right? Look at this prostitute lady. Um, I'll pass. <laughs> no. Thank you, but I'm I'm good. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that's over there by milk and milk. There goes again. We've got milk stuff we're and not even allowed to sell, people. I. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Yes. No, you said it wrong. It's milk and Ralph's. Let me get my weapon out because there's always individuals over here who want to fight me. And if that's the case, they're going to get blasted to oblivion. They're going to get a new butthole. Wait, is this the other guy? <laughs> that's not him. I want to say the other guy's in here, though. Hold on, but I think this is the drug dealer. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Uh, Do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Well, I need you to stop selling them. All right? Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. How about uh, you stop or I put a bullet in your head? Or uh, is if the NCR is supplying you with cheap chems to keep free side down wait man you can't go around saying shit like that okay i get your point you won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore good later yep that was easy <laughs> all right so i guess we gotta go back to him right but the other guy is this the guy right here i want to say this is the guy what's up jacob you have chems buddy i could really use a fix well uh, funny story about that uh Julie actually sent me over here to help you. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. Yeah, about that. You look pretty bad, dude. Like, shit, as a matter of fact. Uh, you should probably stop using chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. He's 
Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Yeah, um... That dealer's not gonna sell you shit no more, bro. Sorry to break it to you, man. The only option you have now is to get better. Clean up. You know what I mean? What? I need a fix now! I want to help you, but not in the way you think. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of Fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. Uh... I wish I had Fixer, man, but... <laughs> fixers for pansies? No, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, Jacob, you gotta be strong, bro. I don't have Fixer to help you, man, but you know what? As long as you have your friends to support you, man, you will get through this, I promise. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Hell yeah! I'm proud of you, Jacob. Hey. Except I think now we gotta go back to uh, Bill Fontaine, right? Quest, uh... With his alcoholism. So, now that... So that dealer was supplying both of them? Is that what's going on? I think that's what the, that's the case. So, bro, don't think about it. Howdy. Howdy. Let's just go straight across, man. There's a Come door over here anyways. Oh, needs. fuck, dude. I forgot to go to Milk, Milk and Ralph's. Let's go check out Milk and Ralph's real quick. Maybe he'll sell me some milk. Since I gotta go grocery shopping too, you know what I mean? Look at there goes uh, Jacob. I'm so proud of you, man. Be strong, bro. Be strong. You need anything? Let me know. And you? Get the hell out of my way before I put another put one right between your Hello eyes. There. Look at this ghoul. Wait, uh, did I pass Milk and Ralphs? I did. I think the one in the back, the, I'm gonna search this guy, or I'm gonna, well, fuck it, here. Hey, what can I get you? I think the guy in the back is the one that sells, um, uh, weapons, so, uh, but yeah, the followers are looking for a uh, supply deal. Do you think you could help out for that? We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. I mean, you got a point there. Um, later. Thanks for stopping. Oh, wait, you know what? No, no, talk to me again. Hey, what can I get you? Uh, what do you have in stock, bro? Take a gander. Uh, will do. Atomic cocktail. This is a drink? I guess it is. Uh, well, let's see if they have any weapons. Does he have fixers? Not that it matters. It's too late for that. Yeah, he, he's got nothing for me, so... Later. Let's talk to your brother. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. What's for up, general milk? supplies and other services, see my partner, Ralph. Will do. Uh, you... What guns do you have for sale? Have a look. Alright, let me see. He's got a lot of ammo, that's for sure. Mmm... Dragon's breath. This is all ammo. I'm not looking for ammo at the moment. So let's look at weapons first. Let's go all the way to the top. This I think is a unique weapon. I don't have enough for that though. Katana? That sounds badass. Little Devil. That's not a laser weapon. Nuka Breaker. This is also a unique weapon. Mm. So nothing of no weapons I can use. And no mods. You are useless. Can you repair my armor? Sure. Let's see what you've got. Yes, he can. You know what? You can repair those two. Um, the followers are looking for a supply deal. Are they looking to buy guns? No. Then talk to my partner, Ralph. <laughs> Later. Come back and see us soon. Yeah, I think at some point we're gonna go check out the Gunrunner's arsenal. Hey. Shut up. All right, let's go talk to uh, Bill Fontaine. 
<coughs> Excuse me. This dude walks really slow. If I had a whole conversation with both Milk and Ralph, and he's barely right here. But you know what? It's okay, though. He'll get there eventually. So what's the repair value, I guess, uh, condition? Oh, damn, dude. He has high it can be bought. It can be found at Mick and repair skills, I think. Very nice. There goes uh, one of the king's guys. He protects the uh, the water fountain. So this door leads to the right next to where uh, Bill Fontaine is. This should be enough. All right, let me see if I can help him. Come on, man, I'm dying. Uh, so Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends desperately miss you man and not only that but they also need your help you need to get better oh julie i really screwed things up i'll head over to the fort and get some rest this has gone on too long agreed hell yeah uh do i have to go talk to julie yes i do well while we're here uh ralph said to come to the atomic wrangler the atomic wrangler is right here so let's uh talk to homeboy about potentially setting up a deal. That prick Benny had it coming. I hear Benny got force fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Oh yeah. I mean I I did it myself. But let's change the subject really quick, man. Um so you know the followers of the apocalypse, man. They actually need your help uh finding someone for trade supplies and stuff like that. Do you think you could help? Really now. This is news. They could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. So, I might be able to work something out for you if you want. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the <coughs> fixer, excuse me, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Cool. Uh, well, really quick, do you have anything for sale? Sure. Take a look. Uh, any weapons? No. Alright, well, you have a nice day. Wait, uh... Alright, later. Okay, what is this for? Right caps, I might be able to put in a good word. Or let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? I want people to like me? <laughs> what does it say? Alright. I can chat you up, but it's gonna cost you. I'm not risking my reputation around here for nothing. Damn, uh, I'm a damn beacon of morality here, people. I'm assuming this gives me a... Depending on how much I spend, gives me a reputation boost. Let's try this and see what happens. Great. This is gonna require an epic tale of heroism. I've got it. I'll say you slew a nest of death claws living in the sewers. It was bloody work, but you waded through the pack like a man possessed. Just to make this clear, I can only spin a whopper this big once. There's only so much people will believe before they see through the bullshit. <laughs> Yay, I got reputation. All right, let's go. Hell yeah, and I'm liked. All right, that's good. Um, Now that we got the Atomic Wrangler, I kind of want to go to Silver Rush at some point too. They're, they literally specialize in, like, laser and plasma weapons, so... That's that's if, if literally my go-to store. Alright, let's see, uh... What, uh, Julie Farkas... Has in store for me. Uh, where is she? I see you, I see you. Julie! 
Hey, Don't walk away. Good to see you. So, I think I found someone that would be able to cover your supplies. Wait, hold on. I helped with that addiction problem you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Cool. Um, and I got followers, uh, fame. Uh, but anyways, I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies, but it's going to come at a cost. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? The uh, Garrett twins, as a matter of fact. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? Easy. Uh, with a surplus of supplies, you could definitely use the caps uh, for influence, influence to expand. Uh... Sure. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. Anytime, man. Um... You said you could spare some supplies? Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rat away? I'll take a stim pack. You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. Okay, sounds good. Later. Oh, okay then. Ooh, I'm idolizing Freeside. Hell yeah. Hold on, can I check my, um... My reputation status here? General, followers of the apocalypse, accepted. I'm vilified with Caesar's Legion. I'm okay with that. Freeside, idolized. Idolized in Good Springs, Great Cons. I'm accepted, so that's good. Accepted NCR. Idolized in Novak. Powder Gangers vilified. I'm okay with that too. Neutral in the strip. There's a lot of factions here. Hello. So now we go back to the Garrett twins. And turn in these... Um, missions, I think. Alright, well. Let's go. Oh look, he's barely making it here. Damn, Jacob, you're slow as shit, bro. <coughs> Come to Nick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Alrighty. Let's go let them know that the deal has you been made. No, I, I don't. don't doubt the atomic wrangler. I mean that's where I'm going, but you know what? Not for that reason. I got business. Got it? Business. I've got my eye on you. Why why are you here? Shouldn't you be getting better? Man, this guy, I swear. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Some waffles? And I uh, got an update for you as well. I spoke with Julie, and she says that the followers will definitely accept your offer. As long as you keep the, uh, the supplies coming, they'll keep your stuff running. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Well, you got a you got a point there. Um Do you need any work to be done? We've got the basics covered, but now you <clears throat> mention it. I've had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. What sort of provocative... Sure. Are you talking about... Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. 
Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Um... I'll expect a hundred caps minimum for each candidate I bring in, though. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Uh... Sure. Uh... Sure, I'll see what I can do. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. All right, sounds good. Till next time. All right, I know exactly where I can find all three of them. The talker is actually over here. It's the dude that talked to us and told us about all of his jobs that he worked before. Uh, right before we actually went into the strip, as a matter of fact, he stopped us and told us to be careful. Who the hell's shooting? I don't know, but they got down. <clears throat> Alright, he should be around here somewhere, I think. Can't run from me. Uh, can I shoot him from here? Wait, hold on. This has 20. Got him. Don't worry about it, Boone. I got it. Come here, Mr. Swap Talker, you. Hello again. Um, how would you like to work for the Garrets? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Prostitute. <laughs> They want a quote-unquote real boyfriend experience, but nonetheless, pretty much a male prostitute. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Well, you're a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence, man. Your work, in many ways, is art. Not for me, but to other people. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Hell yeah. I mean, I got free side fame, but I don't really need free side fame anymore, do I? But it's all good, though. Let's go ahead and do this anyways. The ghoul uh the ghoul what's it called cowboy that the rich guy wanted he's literally over there at the free at the what are they called at the followers of the apocalypse area so i kind of want to go there anyways and then the third the third one that i need to get is the sex bot it's literally all the way around this whole entire place so I gotta go in this direction anyways, I believe. <clears throat> so we'll see. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph. Yeah, you've said that before, little kid. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. While I'm over here, I, I might as well talk to Julie Farkas. Just in case there's any more dialogue uh, in reference to the uh Yep. The whole business deal that we got taken care of. Hey, good to see you. Um the Garrets will be sending over supplies shortly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garrets aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. Hell yeah. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. Cool. Well, later. <clears throat> Alright. Hello. Hey. Howdy. So, what's your name? Well, well, tell me your story. I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Um... What do you do with the followers? 
I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay is all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Okay. Uh, I bet you've seen a lot over the years, right? I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Uh... Sounds like you're a bit of a dominatrix, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? <laughs> are you interested? Are you interested for working, uh, working for the Garretts? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? No, not that kind of job. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. No, no, I don't think you're understanding what I mean. Not escort as in walking them to places. I mean a prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Turns out there's a uh, few customers looking for someone exactly like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Well, think about it like this. You'd be an independent with a deep discount on all the booze you can get. <clears throat> they do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Yeah, she's picking. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. Cool. Till next time. Oh man, now we gotta get the most interesting one of them all. Oh god. Let's do this. What the hell that sound? Not entirely sure. But I wanna say we have to go around this corner. Maybe. Cause I I actually I'm pretty confident it's over here. This is where we came for the, uh, for the mission with the, uh, NCR troops. This place is really, really empty, isn't it? Yeah, this is it right here. Is this place open? Can you actually come in here, Acme Real, uh, I mean, I guess not, huh, Realty? All right. Let's get ready to go in. Clear some places. What the hell just happened? I hope you're ready, Boone. Alright. Uh, actually, we'll hit the head. Is that the only thing that I could hit? I guess so. I got two more rats over here. So this has 42. And then... Okay, well, we'll just go with that then. Well, that guy left. Ah! Good. This guy's done skis. Can I hack this? No, fuck. What do we got over here? Let me see. Just a bunch of junk. Well, let's clear this place at least. That was easy. Ooh, energy cells. Don't mind if I do. Ah! 
this. Boone, save me. You're a lifesaver, buddy. You're a lifesaver. Um, all right, what's the mission? I know this is where we're supposed to go. Mm. Pretty sure we gotta go to Milk, Milk and Ralph's again. It's a long way though, so that kind of sucks, but it's all good. You know what we should do? No, nah, I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna fast travel. We're on the right side. We just have to go all the way across to the the opposite side of this side of free side. You know what I mean? That's a lot of words that says side. We're on the right side, but the opposite side of free side. I don't know. That sounds weird. This is the most important recruit of our lives, though. Let me see here. I want to say that... Ralph gives us, a, like, a code. Or something like that. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. I don't think I will. But thank you for uh, the invite, though. Much appreciated. All right. I think we're in good, good hands here. I hope he gives it to us, man, because uh, I don't really have another option. Alright, Ralph, I gotta talk to hey. you, buddy. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, well, first of all, no worries. Second of all, uh, you wouldn't happen to know where I could find a sex bot, would you? <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Oh, no, not me. The Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers, but definitely not me. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. Eh, take care if you of it. you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Uh... Is there a holotape or anything I need to... For that sex spot? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Yeah. I mean, I've been a loyal customer for a long time with, uh, Mick. I mean, Ralph. <laughs> um, ooh, call it a favor. Yeah, can you call it a favor, man? I've been giving you a lot of business. All right, come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. Hell yeah. Not yet. All right, let's go. We'll stand outside and rest for, like, two days. Because he says two days. All right, he said a couple days, so let's wait for two days. I don't know if that's going to be enough. But we'll try it. Worst case scenario, we'll just uh, come back outside and wait for a couple more days. Hopefully, two days is enough, though. But I think we got everything we need after this. And then we're going to have the greatest robot known to the history of mankind, both pre-war and after war. And everybody who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, God. Any minute now. And we're good to go. Hey, oh. you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Yeah, I'm one of you guys. Eight bottle caps? That's it? All the money that freaking guy makes and... Good day. Hello. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? Sure, why not? Uh... Is the holiday ready? Yep, here you go. <laughs> oh, You'll need God. to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. Oh, yeah, later. Thank you. I'm not excited for this. But, you know, low key, I kind of am too. <laughs> Free side is off. Come on. How dare you? I want that hat, though. 
Give me that hat. Thanks, Mr. Uh, King Man, Dude Man, Man Man, for the assist. Feel like we're gonna be in good hands now. I think that's because we're idolized here, so it's. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. It's like we got we got backup. Or maybe it's because we are actually a member of the kings. I don't know. It's one or the other. Either it's because we're idolized with the kings, or it's because or it's because either we are a king, or we're idolized with uh, free side. That we're getting assistance and kings members coming up to us and giving us stuff for free. So we'll see what else we get in the future. I think we get just random stuff like bottles of water or food sometimes. Uh, maybe a couple ammo sometimes, but I don't think any, it's anything spectacular if I'm completely honest. Uh, we're actually right around the corner. Oh god. Go ahead and get our weapon. I think we already cleared the place to be honest, but hey, you can't be too safe, right? All right, let's go ahead and go inside. Get out of my way, Rex. All right, let's do this. Um, run diagnostic routine. Nope. All right, upload programming routine. Upload rap sex bot routine. Oh god, here it goes. <laughs> Let's go. Um, hello? Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Oh, uh, well that's definitely a mouthful. Let's shorten that to, uh, what do you say, Fisto? Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. No, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. What? Hell no. I am programmed for your pleasure. <laughs> Please assume the position. My pleasure is for you to go work at the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further <laughs> orders. Uh, report to the Atomic Wrangler. James uh, Garrett is your new owner. Yes, sir. Look. <laughs> Oh my god, that was absolutely terrible. Alright, well let's go talk to uh, Garrett, Mr. James Garrett himself. I think he's going to be pleased that we got him exactly what he was looking for, all within the town's limits. Um, whoever ordered Fisto, though, is going to be... Uh, it's going to be... Happy, I suppose? Sounds disgusting. Oh my god. Assume the position. I kind of should have tested it out just for the hell of it. Just for the lols. Alright. But anyways. I'm no way I'm going to test out Fisto. Alright. Let's go, Boone. And Rex. All right. Oh my God! Look who it is. It's old Ben. All right. Hello, Mr. James. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Um, I found the sex bot. Actually, uh, I actually found that ghoul you were talking about. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? It's uh her actually, and her name is Beatrix. She can start immediately. Is she? Huh. Well. I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. <laughs> Gross. All right. Uh, also, on top of that, you wanted a smooth talker for an expert? Uh, exhort? Ex escort? My God, I can't talk right now. Definitely found you one of those. And who would that be? Uh, you know old Ben, right? Yeah, him. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Uh, and last but not uh, but not least, 
I definitely got you the most disturbing robot you will ever know. It's a sex bot for sure, and uh, I took uh, the liberties of calling him Fisto. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, the thing is, Fisto's a heavy-duty piece of equipment. Uh, built to last? Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. So Fistle's already programmed to respond to your commands, by the way. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Ugh. I think I think the robot's for him. See ya. Yeah, okay, I'm at Ew! We did this? That's disgusting! I'm absolutely disturbed. Who's this guy? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Both. Uh... Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Who are you, exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. So you're a stand-up comedian, you say? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are kind you of just that dumb? Both. Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Uh, judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much, right? Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here, but what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Uh, Tommy Tyrone, oh yes. Uh, Tommy Tyrone is actually hiring new acts at the tops. You could probably make good money there. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garrets. They'll never let me out of it. I'm pretty sure I can take, talk, uh... Out, talk you out of that contract. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Don't worry, man. He owes me one. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hey, bastard. I'm a freaking help. I'm helping you out right now, right? Hey, Mr. Garrett. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? Uh, I'd like to get uh Hadrian out of his contract, if you don't mind. Now, why would I want to do that? Performances make me quite a lot of money. Uh, well, he's not the right fit for this place. You could definitely find some better performers out there. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Thank you. You have a good day, right? Bye. Woo! Any luck with Garrett yet? As a matter of fact, the Garrett's agreed to let you go out of your contract. You could definitely go work for the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? Absolutely. That's great. Thank you. Anytime. Damn, we leveled up twice. Um, well, let's put the rest into repair. Now we get... Um... Can I get... Better criticals? I think that's level 16, though. Let's see, better criticals. <clears throat> Vigilant recycler. So that's science level 70. We're definitely gonna need that too though. Wait, hold on. Uh jury rigging. You know what I think we should do? Hold on, jury rigging, I think we need 70. Um where is it at? Or is it available? Um, not sure. Oh yeah, jury rigging. 
So I need repair level 90. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually subtract this and I think the rest into science. We'll go with jury rigging, but I kind of want to see Vigilant Recycler. I'm going to need Science at 70. Science. All right, so I have a long way to go for that. And then what else do I need? I'm going to need Meltdown. I don't think I have enough for that yet either. I'm going to need Action Boy 2. Uh, I need to I have two more levels for that meltdown two more levels for this weapons at level 90 fuck uh, Concentrated fire would be pretty decent. I Still got a while to go for that one though uh, What about laser commander that's something I really want That's not till level 22 weapons at level 90 all right, so I need weapons level 90 Weapons level 90. Weapons level 90. Um, I could get this at level 20. Um, weapons and guns at 60. Again, weapons level 90. This I just have to be the right level. Right level. I hope I have enough to be able to get all of this stuff. Vigilant Recycler, science level 70. Um... Uh, let me see everything else jury rigging is a must so you possess the amazing ability to repair any item using a roughly similar item fix a trial carbine with a hunting rifle or a plasma defender with a laser pistol or pistol or even power armor with metal armor how does it work nobody knows except you uh, adamantium skeleton is a possibility as well uh, Mysterious Stranger is a possibility. Toughness is a possibility. And I think we're good. But just to check out, so I need science at 70. I need guns at 90. Fuck, dude, I got a long way to go. Guns. Uh, guns. Science. All right, I got a long way to go. It's okay though. And let me just make sure I got the right thing clicked here. Jerry rigging. Another nice. NCR grub. Shut up. All right, but I need one more for the uh, that one party starting thing. All right, let's go back Hungry? to the strip. Thirsty? Horny? Nope. Um, and actually, you know, there is somewhere I do want to go, as a matter of fact. But the good thing with jury rigging is that now I'm going to be able to upgrade a lot of different wep- Uh, well, my weapons with a various amount of things. So that's good. I kind of want to go to the gun runner's arsenal, but- Move along same time I don't so we'll see there's somewhere I want to go though but we're probably gonna have to do well yeah we're gonna do that in the next video let's go ahead and go up to the to our house to our little pie, uh, piece of pie in the sky where to partner Send me to my pad, partner. But all right, guys, we're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now. In the next video, I'm thinking of uh, going over to the embassy here of the NCR uh, that's within the strip. 
it should be pretty interesting uh, to head in that direction and see what happens. So, if you enjoyed this video, though, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.